let's 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 see what Jess had to say about it. Who the fuck is gonna stand up for us? <laughs> Who the fuck stands up for us? And us. I mean women, real women, biological women, women who were born with all the parts that you guys wish that you were. Um, when does the delusion stop? What is the difference between um, you and someone who has been um, diagnosed to be mentally insane? What's the, the only difference is you don't have a straight jacket on. Stop talking out your fucking ass. Wake up. How are you projecting your anger? On real women, because we are the gatekeepers. We are the gatekeepers for periods. We're the only one that fucking bleed, honey. We're the only ones that can give birth. We make y'all people. We make y'all. Y'all come from us. You can't be us. You will never. You're chasing something you'll never, ever get. You'll never be that. Truly, I believe in everything and everywhere that we as trans women and trans men understand that we will never be because we know what we are. We know what we came through. We are not insane to know that we were born male. I know that I was born male, but I'm not a man. And I know that there are, there are uh, trans men out there who were born female, but they are not female, they're men. Uh, you don't wanna understand that there's a difference between gender identity and sex, but that's all right. I'm not here to educate you on that. My point here with this with Jess, which was she made a blanket statement, just like the, just like, the small clip seeing as though that the trans woman was make a bl making a blanket statement, but she made a blanket statement and stated that all uh, like trans women and trans people need to be in a straight jacket or like we're crazy. And you know, why would you, why would you say anything like that when you know that you have that there are trans people that support you and love you and fuck with you? Cause I, I definitely was one of them. And this is why I, I subtly at first, I'm not going to lie. I'm, we talking about accountability here. I subtly said, this, put that, put, put the post up when I see it, Molly. Yes. There are so many real women that get mistaken for being transgender women, and that's where a lot of anger comes from. I do hope they take a good look at how transphobia affects all women. Let's take that down. Now, I said that based off of the context of me watching Jess and me seeing that Jess has already experienced transphobia herself. She herself has experienced transphobia by play the video this right here right there no she herself put the video in there from from mona please she herself has has experienced transphobia because there has been numerous times that men have said that you know or that and this is from her mouth not mine. I never called her a man. I never said that she looks like a man because contrary, contrary to what you guys say, I don't think that Jess Hilarious looks like a man. I do think that she has masculine energy. I think that she she might be a female, but she possesses lots of masculine energy. What's up, your son? What's good? But she's, she does not look like a man to me. And I never stated that she looks like a man. However, however, she has masculine energy like masculine energy masculine tendencies masculine stuff but she still yet again and she still is a female and that does not take away that women at the end at the beginning middle and end of the day when, when i stated that women suffer from transphobia as well that doesn't mean that she doesn't get this Obviously, because the next day academics posted that, oh, all this time, I thought that this was a, a man. Now, you know damn well this girl don't look like no motherfucking man, but she does have masculine energy. No, he was being messy. No, he was being messy. He was being very messy. I was pointing out that in her own words. And so I do believe that she's experienced this time and time and time and time again. And because she's experienced this time and time and time and time again, because she has experienced this, it does build up some type of the, well, people start feeling some type of way. But again, your anger is displaced because trans people are not, no, I did not say it. You'll, you'll block this bitch. 
because I did not say that she was a man or she I I I I blocked this motherfucking hoe down here because I did not say that. You're not gonna twist then mix my words. My words, this is exactly what my motherfucking words said right here. I'm not playing with you bitches today because I can give a fuck if you hoes follow me or fuck with me or not. I can give a fuck about it. I can give a fuck about it. I don't have to fuck with you. Y'all hoes don't have to fuck with me. You bitches don't do a motherfucking thing for me. I already did. Put that, put that fucking thing up there where I said though these were my exact words. My exact take my exact words. My exact words. No, that's my, that my exact words right here. My exact words are there are so many real women that get mistaken for transgender women. And that's why a lot of the anger comes from. And I hope that they take a good look at how transphobia affects all women. All women. All women. That's what I said. That's what I said. I did not say that she looks like a man or that she is a man. I did not say that. There are so many real women that get mistaken for being transgender. And, and here's the thing. When you say transgender and you say man, that's, those are two different things, Pooh. See, the problem is that you don't want to, y'all don't want to validate trans women's existence. And you don't want to, you, you don't want us to fall up under the umbrella of woman. But unfortunately, sweetheart, we do. And see, let's do this today. I've been calling y'all real women for the last couple of days, and I'm all right with it, because guess what you told I'm a real woman. Okay. Hey, real woman. If I don't know your name, and I'm sitting up talking and having a conversation about stuff, hey, we talk, well, let's talk about the real women and the trans women. Y'all had a problem with that yesterday. Y'all had a problem with that yesterday. The real women and the trans women. Y'all had a, a big fucking problem with that yesterday. And I'm only at hearing, you don't want cis no more? Here we go, real women. So let's do this. Let's just take out cis and trans. And let's put women. How about we do that? How about we do that? How about we just take, how about we just remove cis and trans and just say women? How about that? Can we do that? Let's just take cis and trans out and just be women. I'm all right with that. Because I tell you motherfucking hoes from the, from the dough, I'm a trans woman. I tell you motherfucking that from the start. I came to the dough. Some of you bitches met me naked. Some of y'all met me with my fucking clothes off. So what's up? Let's do it. Let's do that. Let's just take cis and trans away and let's just be fucking women. Let's just take cis men because there's cisgender men. Let's take that away and let's take trans men away and let's just be men. Let's do that. I'm all right with that. See, the thing about it is what you want to be able to do is just say, I'm a real woman and all of y'all are men. That's, that's what you want to do. And, and, and here's the thing. It comes from, it comes from a place. Women in general are naturally territorial. It's a natural thing. It's a natural territorial thing. That's what women, women are naturally. That's just what it is. And they're fighting. It's just what it is. They're, they're, they're territorial and, and women are catty with each other. So don't think that I don't see this from the lens or from the perspective that they're territorial, territorial and catty with each other. And then you have this outside mystery meat that comes along and be like, oh, no, we don't we not. We don't want you in this bitch either. We don't want you in this motherfucker. We don't want you up under this. We don't want to be fucked up with y'all like that. Nah. Unfortunately, the way the times are now, times have changed. And, or oh, excuse me, fortunately. Because there have been times that, you know, and I'm just laying it all on the motherfucking floor right now because this is how I feel. 
unwarrantedly attacked. That Tasha K bullshit, that was an unwarranted of fucking tech. Because if a bitch had a motherfucking problem with me my phone, I'm just like I got in that whole inbox and asked that whole bitch, do we got pressure? You could have definitely got on the telephone or whatever with me. Man, fuck that hoe. And fuck bitches like that. Because it's a lot of you motherfucking hoes that move that way. I done dealt with a bunch of you bitches like that. But to my women that are smart enough and have enough class or intelligence to sit and have a conversation i fucks with you the long motherfucking way and i hear you speaking i'm never gonna call you a, a chest feeder a bonus hole a birthing canal that is just too from coming from my mouth to y'all fucking ears that is disrespectful coming from because because I, I would never say that to, my mother's more than a birthing a birthing a bonus hole a, a, a chest feeder the fuck A lot of that shit is coming from new age and new generations of, 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 of people that want inclusivity, but are also stepping on the spaces of like, all right, like, listen, don't do that. That sounds crazy as fuck because it does sound crazy as motherfucking fuck to be calling a woman a bonus hole or a fucking chest feeder or whatever. That shit is crazy. It sounds fucking crazy. It's just what it is. 